Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 53 Memory Game Part 3 It's a follow-up to Part 2 which I have opened on my computer and I'm hoping this is the last part for this for this series. I want to start off by selecting the frame 31 of the Actions panel opening up the Actions panel and get rid of those two forward slashes go back to the main timeline do this next one here circle get rid of that one go up to the next one which is the rectangle action script get rid of those two forward slashes the same with the square and I believe the oval is done but we'll just check make sure yes the oval's done now what we want to do is what happens when we hit the correct when we make a correct selection so let's open the library panel down in the corner create a new symbol and let's call this correct C O R R E C T underscore M C click OK make sure movie clip is selected OK and closing my property panel here write text T E X T and opening my text tool I'm going to make a long text box here OK here's my text box and we are going to write correct C O R R E C T so pick up the selection tool and center that somewhat on there go up to frame in my case frame 8 I believe insert a keyframe yes that's frame 8 select frame 1 get that fuzzy square drag it one to the right so there's nothing on frame 1 lock that layer insert a layer call it action script AS select frame 1 open the actions panel and put a stop 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 open close bracket semicolon go back to scene 1 go at the front end here and here we have the again line lock all layers select the again frame layer select the again layer insert a layer call it correct C O R R E C T and right in line with the triangle and the line with these two the again and find insert a keyframe or blank keyframe there's the again movie clip open the library panel get the correct movie clip bring that on the stage and the same thing drag that oops click on it get the crosshairs and drag that on top there this is a good time to straighten out the problem where we have the where the shapes are on top and that's really easy to do come down here to where it says movie clip target target MC click on that layer hold your button down and drag it up and put it above the shapes and that solved that problem and now go way up to this this line here the shapes line which is my second line up in my case go way to the end and at the end where all these frames and at this point in time right click insert a keyframe so that's going to bring all my shapes up here if I hide the targets movie clip for a minute here's my shapes now we got to write the code for the triangle so select the action script frame and layer for the try try and it's this one here the try try instead of again we want to change this to correct c o r r e c t underscore m c go to and play frame two so now in order to do that we must make sure we have a instance name so back to scene one select that frame one of the correct 
this first frame here which has something in it it's actually frame 31 open the properties panel oops we gotta highlight it and there it is correct movie clip let's give it an instance name c o r r e c t underscore m c now the code will work so let's see if that first one works control test movie test I always like it when there's no errors there they are memorize them memorize them they're hidden and the triangle one we know this is not it so this will say try again as will this one but this one should say correct okay so now what we want to do is tell it to go to the next to the next shape so open that actions panel again and right here after that line that says correct go to and play frame 2 put an enter and put P L A Y just play semicolon so now it will play now if we were testing this out and we had the correct movie clip running and someone clicked on one of the other the other shapes it would come back and start over so we want to make sure that can happen so right here put an enter in and write a g a i n underscore m c period g o t o small capital a n d stop s t o p capital s frame one now if you press the another one of those buttons it would not go so let's see how this works I got an error and it's on 31 line 9 it's a crazy warning values where types were expected just it's gonna be a typo line 9 and I see the problem it's right here this should be play open and close bracket and then the semicolon so let's give that a quick check I just want to make sure the correct works and that's this one here correct and you can't press these it'll just ignore them because of this line here now we got to put this code in all the corrects so copy it back to the timeline select the circle action script find circle circle it's right there highlight this line and paste in the one we want back to the timeline do the rectangle open the actions panel find the rec rec there it is rec rec highlight that paste it in same for the square 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 there it is square square paste it in and we need one for the oval that's down the very bottom oval oval and let's make sure we can go through those five cracks there's the triangle that's correct it's asking for the circle there's the circle that's correct it's asking for the rectangle there's the rectangle that's correct there's the square it's correct and there's the oval and it will come around and start over again very good so now let's go back to the main timeline go up to the very end here and right here let's straighten this out if you have this situation where you have this one find here just click on it get that fuzzy square and drag it over one like that that should be good enough lock all the layers select the correct layer correct insert one call it game over game over come to the 
end here insert a blank keyframe so we're sticking off the end where there's nothing else on the screen here pick up my text tool I want to read text if I can I'm going to open my properties back up to where I was 26 I believe 26 points yes okay and make a text box big one G A M E O V E R game over game over all correct A L L C O R R E C T game over all correct pick up my tool and put it in there up here on the actions layer click here insert a blank keyframe open the actions panel S T O P open close bracket semicolon and that should stop there for us let's go way up to the front again and lock all the layers unlock this intro layer select frame one that's where you're going to have all your rules whatever your rules are and we're going to make a button so pick up the rectangle tool or oval tool whatever you want make yourself a button there it is pick up the selection tool highlight it modify convert it to a symbol you could actually make it a button if you want make it a button but I use movie clips call it start s t a r t underscore m c copy that name and it's selected open the properties panel there it is movie clip called start and paste that in for the instance name now we can write code on it lock that layer go up to the actions panel just try ones all right open it up and from this open curly bracket go all the way up like that and copy all those one two three four lines copy them select frame one open the actions panel paste it in and we're going to use that movie clip we just made called start s t a r t and our function is going to be called start s t a r t T and here has to be start S T A R T and here we want to say go to G O T O go to capital A N D go to N capital P L A Y go to and play open bracket quotation and we want it to jump to that one called shapes S H A P E S capital S capital S here S H A P E S close quotation close bracket semicolon and while you're typing this close curly bracket might come in for you if not put it in and I'm just going to do an auto format here straightens that out and I'm saying go to the frame called shapes so it will jump to here when I press that button if I'm going to write code on a button I gotta make sure it has an instance name I'm almost certain it has, but I'm just going to check it, highlight it. Yes, I was almost certain. So let's test this out. Sits here. Click on the button, and that's working. Now, there's an error, and I want to show you what we've got to fix. This is that one, correct? There's the circle. If I click try again and then click this it just in this one here and this will just override it so this these are working right that's the circle that's the rectangle there's the square for example if I hit the wrong thing and then hit square it overrides it I don't see two things but the oval has a problem we got a straight note if I click here and click here sometimes I can get two things see that I got that try again come back and that's because we didn't do something with the movie clips. I want to go back inside this this start movie clip for a minute. So I can either double click on this or open my library panel, click on the start, 
and I want to straighten this out. So call this to sh this, this button, B U T, lock it, insert a layer, call it text, T E X T, pick up your text tool. I want a different color other than red. I'm going to take black. I want to open my properties panel. I have my text tool, and I want this to be down around 12 points and make a little text box and S T A R T pick up my selection tool and drag that in there that's my start button let's go back to scene one and we're going to fix that problem with the oval way up here up the timeline to where the oval section is right in around here and what I want to do is get rid of these movie clips and put some pseudo ones in so let's make this small again there's all the ones from the other ones we did see and that's on the movie clips here right here so lock all the layers unlock that movie clip layer select this next frame of the movie clips layer in my case it's frame 72 insert a keyframe come down here click off to the side highlight them drag them all up out of the way so we don't see them and open the library panel and bring in five of them one two three and center them and then I'll return I have that done so now these are not active once you start moving so I believe this is going to work I'll just start her up I'll do one incorrect and then one correct like that I'll do an incorrect one and a correct one and I d can't stop that's really good an incorrect and I'll correct one correct one incorrect incorrect correct and now I can't and it stops at the end saying that you game over all correct I hope you learned something from this series of tutorials and I hope you use what you learn.